Hey everybody, welcome back to a new travel log uh, video on this channel. And today we look into a new Nuxt core module. Let's take a look at Nuxt hits. Here we go. All right, before we jump into it and take a look at the new Nuxt core module, you already see I'm not in my usual studio. So uh, that will be one of the times where, of course, I don't want to leave you out without a video while traveling. Um, the next will be back in the studio. And now let's take a look at the module through our wonderful Nuxt demo application. Or should we take a look at GitHub first? Let's do that. And the new core module is Nuxt Hints, a Nuxt module that shows hints for aspects of your application, such as performance, accessibility, security, and more. And that's lovely because we all are not necessarily performance experts, security experts, accessibility experts, or experts at all. Well, that's uh, up to you to judge. But nevertheless, we can't know everything at once. So it's great to get some insights for application through a module and through some help. And of course, we want to take a look at that. Before, let's have a look at the contributor list and give them some props, and then we jump into our demo application there. A big chunk of this module was written by Julian Huang, also a member of the core team. You might have heard about him when it comes to, well, Nuxt server components. Uh, Jakob and Daniel also contributed a few things here, and then there's some more contributors from the ecosystem team. I also did a little bit in the README, opened some issues, as well as Sebastian, Alex, Jonas, and maybe also you out there. Because usually there is the chance to contribute, so if you want to see a certain feature in the module, just to leave an issue there, and if you're interested in implementing that, that's always a big plus as well, or if you try it out and something doesn't work, well, let the people know. But before we get into that, we have to know what is the module actually doing, so now it's time to take a look. And while a minimal application is not the best way to show you all the capabilities, I think it's a great start. So we have this minimal application, uh, obviously we have our next config, then besides that, just an initial view saying hi or hello YouTube in this case, and that's it. We have nothing else installed except Nuxt view, view router, and the dev tools. So the go to setup. And now what we want to do is, of course, we want to install the Nuxt hints module. And doing so is pretty easy. So let's open up our console a bit more here. And what we want to do is you want to write npx Nuxt module add, and then we just write hints here. Of course, you can use pmpm, dlx, etc., etc. That's fully up to you. And then we add the Nuxt hints module. The good thing is if you use that command, it's not only added to your package JSON, but also to your Nuxt config straight away. So you don't have to deal with that and it will just work, which is a very nice developer experience there. Two steps combined into a single one. Also keep in mind that this video still shows a very early alpha of the module. So there will be a few more features, fixes and improvements, but it's too good to not take a look at it and you should try it out. And as mentioned before, if you have any feature request, or want to contribute, you should go ahead and do so. All right, so let's have a look at our application and browser. We have the Hey YouTube here, as mentioned before. Then we have the dev tools. Don't worry about the colors. Of course, we don't see green, but more like of a, well, salmon, pink. Not sure, write the name of the color in the comments if you, uh, if you identified it. Uh, of course, this is not the usual green because I inverted the whole HTML, but it's, that's fine for here now. Uh, and I don't really dislike the color that much. Nevertheless, what we want to do is we want to take a look at the DevTools tabs because there are a couple of them. Maybe you have some more depending on the integrations like the, the VS Code tab. That could be also a fun discovery for another video talking about the Nuxt DevTools. But we want to take a look at this panel here, the Hints panel, the new one. And here we see three things, Web Vitals, Hydration, and third-party scripts. So let's have a look at all the three features and see what they are doing. The first thing are the Web Vitals. Here we would see some issues if there would be any with the important core web vitals, LCP, so largest colorful paint, INP, interaction to next paint, and CLS. And it would tell you if you have some issues, which elements are related to that, and then you'd know what to fix with your application. Now, keep in mind though that this is all in development mode, and even though it is quite similar to production to some degree, uh, take it with a grain of salt. It's still a good indicator if you maybe accidentally realized, oh yeah, damn it, um, I added something that will fully crush like the, the layout, will add a cumulative layout shift, which would suck. We're like, oh, you just click a button, then the image loads, and poof. So um, that, that will be still helpful, but it doesn't hurt to also measure these things in production with other tools or with uh, Google PageSpeed, et cetera, et cetera. So make sure that you also test it in production. It's still a good indicator and it's still helpful. But the second feature is, I think, even more helpful, which is the hydration. Oh yeah, here luckily no hydration issues found. That's awesome. But of course we want to trigger some and see how that would eventually look like. So back in the code, let's write the worst code that will definitely have a hydration issue uh, that we can. And the easiest part is let's have an array here and we just say the array is, yeah, one, two, three, 
let's say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, we could also do it a bit more fancy and say array that from length, not a thousand, let's, let's do 10 here and then just uh, write the numbers in there. And now I'm gonna sort it, and of course I'm gonna sort it by math.random minus five, AKA, uh, well, not really random sorting mechanism that you should probably never do. And then we just put it in the template itself and that will already cause some trouble. So if we now reload the page, we already see, oh, hydration. There is one issue. We'll have a look at that in a second. First though, we wanna open the console and see what is going on here. Here in the console, we also see a warning, hydration text content mismatch on H1, rendered on server, rendered on client. We see, of course, the numbers don't add up. Well, that's obviously because we just randomized them on the server and differently on the client, which you should never do. So that's correct. It is not very accessible as in like, it is an error that's great and we can kind of identify it. Now, this is a very simple example, but for more complex things, it's a bit trickier to figure it out. Um, so let's see what the Nuxt Hints uh, tools give us here. So we have this hydration panel and then we actually see here not only where it happens, which component, which root element it is, but also a difference, like basically a diff with which uh, elements, for example, which numbers here are different. So we see it's not super randomized, but well, Good enough. And we can even copy them like the pre and post. So what's rendered on the server, what's rendered on the client and see the diffs that makes also diffing or taking a look way easier. And we can even see here, okay, this is the component itself. We see that it's nicely triggered and we can open into our editor. So now that whole thing will redirect me to my VS code and opens the component. We've been in before, but still, especially in bigger applications, this is super helpful and much, much better than just a very simple error message in the console. So yes, hydration errors are a pain to fix, but with this, it might get a little bit easier for you. And um, I've also talked a lot about them, so this might be a very, very helpful thing. If you don't use server-side rendering, then you don't have to deal with this issue, but I assume a lot of you do, then you use Nuxt, even though you can also build plain SPAs with Nuxt.js, as you've seen maybe in another video that I made a bit ago. Uh, nevertheless, it's really helpful here. Okay, and let's have a look at the third and last feature for now, because there will be more hints coming in the future. And this is third party scripts. Of course, we are in new applications. We don't have any third party scripts loaded, but of course, let's quickly do that and uh, see how that would affect uh, this tab here. So let's just add the Google Tag Manager here by just uh, using app hat script and add here a wonderful new script. We want to have a source, which is basically just the Google Tag Manager. We don't have an ID here. Of course, we'll make it async. It's how it's usually set up. And of course, then we're kind of good to go. Of course, now that won't track any data because uh, we don't send anything, but there are 30, but there are third party scripts now enabled. And if we now have a look at our website and the third party scripts tab, we clearly see, all right, here one third party script is loaded and it's not only loaded, it's also quite slow. It will also straight away recommend to use Nux scripts to properly load that only when necessary on trigger or, well, after all the other things have loaded. So here our Google Tag Manager is not doing that well. Now we can log the element, we can copy the URL, we can have a look. That will also help you to identify the scripts that are running quite slowly here for you. So ideally you also have an insight which tracking scripts you might want to load differently. Plus, as mentioned before, the usage of Nux scripts, which is mostly a really good idea. And this is what Nuxtins offers you right now in one of the very first alphas. There is way, way more to come. Uh, so what you can do right now is, well, first of all, try it out. Uh, it doesn't hurt. It right now works with the dev tool, so only in dev. We'll have a look into more things. We've already seen, okay, more performance things can be done, A11, Y, etc. If you have things in mind, open an issue and uh, feel free to discuss this with, uh, with us, with Julian, with the other community members. And last but not least, if you're interested, then contribute. Code contributions are always welcome, as long as you make sure to just not do an AI slob, it should at least compile and do stuff. Feel free to use AI, but do it in a nice way. Um, just wanted to say that. Recently, we've seen a lot of very sloppy PRs there. So don't, don't worry, don't let you stop from sending a PR, but please make sure it, it runs properly. Right? Reviewing is a good idea. But nevertheless, this is it for this video. Will you use Nuxt Hints? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you have other questions, as usual, take a look around the channel for some other videos and then see you in the next one back in the studio. Until then, happy hacking. Have a lovely day. See you soon.